This training video is a continuation from the previous training videos on versioning and compare versions because here I want to show you how you can merge different versions into a single document which by the way is what we did in the last training video basically when we compared versions well we'll do it again here but in a different way and also I'll show you how you can compare one version to another I know we did this in the previous training video but I only did the last version to the original well what if you didn't want to do the last version and the original but two different versions in between I'll show you how you can do that so to get started we want to look at the version history for our co-author SharePoint document go ahead and click on its ellipsis button and go down and click on its second ellipsis button and click on version history now if you have 50 different versions which I don't I mean I could create a lot of versions but you'll get the same concept here than just a few versions that you can imagine if you had 50 and you want to compare or combine or merge version 2 to version 32 go ahead and select the earliest version or it doesn't matter I'm going to select the earliest version here click on the link to open it up and say allow and say yes and then up at the top to make this previous version become the latest version click restore I don't want to mess with that let's just come down here and click on the print layout so we can change the layout views because I like print layout you can see up at the top in the title bar it's got the version 1.1 let's go back to SharePoint and let's go ahead and compare this to this version right here a major version go ahead and click on the link allow yes and there you go up here you've got version 2.0 and we can change that to print layout view as well so now that I have my two open you can see there's 2.0 then I can come back down here and select on that corresponding button to go back to 1.1 to go ahead and merge the two if you watch my training video on comparing and combining documents you're taking the same steps so basically just come over here click on the review tab go to the compare group click on the corresponding drop down arrow and instead of using these options as we learned in the previous training video we can either come down here and do the compare or in this training video let's do the combine select that and we can't combine any documents that aren't already open so even though they're coming from the SharePoint site they are open so I can click on the drop down arrow and scroll down until I can see oh there we go there's version 1.1 select that click on the drop down arrow to go to the next version that I want to compare which coincidentally is 2.0 click okie dokie and there we go you can see up here on the title bar it's document 4 and then over here as we learned about tracking changes that this is a simple markup and you can see up here in the tracking group on the review tab it's simple meaning that wherever you see that vertical red line it means that that line that it's on there's something that's been changed there between the two that we're comparing or in this case combining so if I want to go ahead and click on that it'll show me what the changes are and do an all markup you can see down below that Kurt Kershaw did this he wanted these two paragraphs deleted do I want to accept or reject the change well let's start up at the top and click on next to select the change and let's reject it and it says there's nothing else to be tracked in the document click okie dokie that's it let's go ahead and click save and when you save it it's going to ask you to save it to the desktop that way it preserves all the versioning of the document for the original document on the SharePoint site from what we just combined here click save and then close out close out close out and then close out of here and then that way if I like what I have on my desktop then just upload it to SharePoint if you want to be able to begin sharing that with others or you can keep it to yourself and not upload it but if you want to upload it go ahead and come up here and click on new document browse for it search on your desktop to find it right there click open and then any version comments and you can add as a new version to existing files which makes it nice like I recommend but then again I recommend that it's good to go ahead and check it in and check it out really fast and when you do that add the comment that this is the original so anytime anybody else checks it out later on you can go back and say okay that's the original not something that somebody actually checked out made changes to it and you don't have the original that you uploaded in any case I'm going to click cancel and that way you can still use the compare and combine features as we learned in an earlier training video with those documents or in this case the different versions from SharePoint